Are you happy to have your hair grown out? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely a little different. I'm not getting as many double takes on, you know, <laughs> these days, but yeah, I can't wait to bring it back though. Yeah, getting ready, getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Petra and Billy. Yeah. Do you think that that's ever actually gonna happen, or should we just let that dream die now? Oh, well, let's hope it's not autobiographical of my life. Uh, if you guys want to see that, if it's based on my high school life, you guys are gonna be disappointed. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. This show, if, I don't know if you guys have read the comics, but they like to play with your feelings. So we'll, we'll see what happens, though. I think I, I'm, I'm gunning for it. So if I, if I have anything to say about it, that girl's uh, as good as, you know, they're, they're, I think they're meant for each other. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. How do you think, in light of what went down in the season finale, how do you think we're going to get out of this insane, you know, situation? Of course, Billy and Only... can probably stick out the back door. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Only the way that comic book characters can, man. You know? They get themselves into these situations, and that's the fun of it, is seeing how the in the heck are they going to get out of this one. And somehow, it makes sense. The way Rick writes comics, I'm a huge fan of his. And he creates these beautiful stories. I don't know how, how his imagination works, but... He captures mine with all of his stories. Were you a fan prior to the show? I wasn't actually, no. I'd never really even read comic books before. I'd read only Calvin Pops, that was the only one I'd ever read. <laughs> and it's a comic strip. Um, but um, I have been nonstop reading now. now. I, I think they are so imaginative and you can do so much that without spending. Five hundred million dollars, you can get this amazing story, and it's made me interested in writing. It's made me just—I'm blown away. I can't believe I didn't know about these things soon. Yeah, because the storytelling is so beautiful. I, I think it's an incredible medium. Yeah, finally I caught up. You know, like the Avengers is the biggest thing in the world, and I'm finally getting there. <laughs> yeah, but I really, for me, it was cool to see things that weren't about superheroes. They were just about like people. I didn't know you could tell comic book stories that way, and those are my favorite ones. Uh, I have so far, all of like Rick's stuff, they're never really about superheroes, they're about these really interesting people. And that's what I really love is the story. So. How do you think that um, Billy will be affected by what happened to Lex? Because so far, obviously, there's been lots of deaths, but yeah. kind of in red shirt deaths. Yeah. Like, much closer to the inner <laughs> circle, much closer to, you know, yeah, I mean, family. yeah. I mean, like the death of his of Billy's father is definitely a big one, but I think it's different in the way that he almost has more love for his his friend than he did a more relationship than with his own dad because he he connects over the punk rock music. That's his roommate. Um, I don't think he's gonna not well. I don't think he's gonna take it very well. I don't know. What do you What do you think he's gonna? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you think your character would be doing in the year 2019 if he lives that long? Oh, if he grew up that yeah. way. <laughs> I mean, look no further than Rick Remender, man. Like he, this character is based on him. You know, he's he's a he was a skater, punk in that thing. So I think he would he definitely wouldn't be in a nine to five. That's for sure. He'd be out there creating something for himself. Um, maybe. Oh. Why didn't we get a picture of that? Uh, that's all I got. That's, that's all I got right there. That's it. You did your job. <laughs>